Welcome back to the channel guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. We just picked up a newer truck for the channel. We're so excited about it. If you watched that last video, we picked it up with my older Duramax and we just found ourselves stranded on the side of the highway. Make sure you guys watch till the end of the video because we will be revealing the truck to the wife for the first time, get her reaction, see what she thinks about it. Before we get started, guys, we only have four more days left for the wheel and tire giveaway. So make sure you guys head over to truckmasterdiesel.com. I left that link in the description. It's impossible for you guys to win these wheels and tires if you don't enter. For every $1 spent on the website is one automatic entry, and we're also going to be giving a portion of those proceeds to the Wounded Warrior Project. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Stay tuned. Oh, oh, oh. oh she's a beaut. <laughs> For the smoke show. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you later. See you later, man. Thanks. Be safe. Yeah. Yep. You too. Guys, you're not gonna believe what just happened here. I was cruising. Everything was good to go. And check it out. That's all fuel. It's not really a huge deal, but it sucks because I'm three hours from home. This is my very first real issue with this truck in a while, too but it's the return line right off the top of the injector. So, since I have that LMM, I'm gonna go ahead and just switch vehicles, guys. Kinda sucks, but it's not the end of the world. But my only issue is I'd hate to have this thing break down on me on the way home. All right, guys, I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna stop crying about this whole situation. I'm gonna switch rigs right now. Of course, I didn't video that process. You'd, you wouldn't wanna watch that anyways, but it's definitely the fuel lines crazy it's just pouring out of there and it's the return line but again you know i can replace it while i'm here but it's just gonna be so much of a hassle to do this over here when i have a diesel truck to pull it right the coolest thing about this is i get to use the lmm duramax to pull the lbz all right guys let's hit the road guys we're on the road with the issues that this truck has it runs great it pulls amazing but make sure you stay tuned and watch till the end and see if i can actually make this thing home i have a three hour drive ahead of me Guys, I'm probably about two and a half hours into the trip already. No issues whatsoever. We're gonna go ahead and fill her up. Well, I don't really need to fill it up, but I just I wanted to stop and check the load and whatnot, but might as well do that. Oh, so far, so good. Looking good as ever. I love this truck, man. I'm so happy. It pulls like a dream. This LMM needs some love. I got it on such a good deal though. I couldn't pass it up. For all the little minute things plus the head gaskets, it's really not that serious. So far I've been averaging 15.9 miles to the gallon. I can only imagine how much that thing weighs. I'm going to say 8,000 pounds. Maybe a little more on that LBZ. Welcome to Michigan. This trailer weighs about 2,300 pounds so it's not like I'm pulling, you know, 20 or 30,000 pounds, but this thing's taking it like a champ. It really is. I'm really happy. And another thing, guys, I mean, between you and I, I'm still going to do head gaskets, head studs, whatever. The truck's already studded anyways, but it, I'm going to replace the thermostats and see if it fixes it. I'm going to try a few other things before I jump to conclusions and say it's a head gasket issue. All right, guys, it's the next day. It was late when I got home, but the good thing is, is it made it home. We're gonna go ahead and take off the LBZ off the trailer. Unfortunately, I have to put stock tires on the front in order to clear these wheel wells. I don't wanna scratch these wheels. If I centered these wheels right over these humps right here and backed off, I'd probably be able to make it, but I really don't wanna chance it right now. It's just too sketchy. So I'm gonna put some stock wheels on this truck, get this off here, get the trailer off the truck, and then we'll go ahead and get the wife's reaction. <laughs> Looks like I have to replace the return line, which really isn't that big of a deal. I had a return line where I was stranded. I'd probably be able to replace it while I was there. But, of course, it's a lot easier and quicker to just switch it out than having to mess with that, right? So, luckily, I'm a Duramax guy, and I got tons of parts. So... I had extra return line, but what I went ahead and did is just replace the return line. It was simple. I just popped it out, put a new one in, and we are good to go. It's not leaking. Everything is good. I'm going to go ahead and roll this monster off the trailer really quick.
thing. Really wasn't even that big of a deal. As a matter of fact, honestly, if I had fuel line in the truck, I probably didn't even need any tools because all you have to do is pull it off and put a new one on. That's it. I'm headed to the post office right now because I'm dropping off all your guys' orders from yesterday and I really do appreciate all that support. My wife and I, we stay on top of that stuff. If you guys order something, we usually deliver it the very next day. And not only that, that contest ends March 10th. You do have an opportunity to win a brand new set of tires and Anthem wheels for your ride. It's gonna be pretty sweet if you win one of those. So good luck to everybody. When I get back from the post office, obviously it's a good test drive. Check everything out, make sure there's no leaks. And then we'll go ahead and get the wife on the channel and have her look at the LMM for the very first time. Let's go ahead and do this. Absolutely zero leaks. I opened it up. As a matter of fact, the back tires were spinning. I was doing about 40 miles an hour and I hammered it and the back tires were, these 35s were actually spinning. So anyways, uh, everything's good to go. But like I said, guys, I'll go ahead and just purchase some stock return line, put it in the truck, you know, a few extra tools just in case that happens again. So I don't have to go through all that madness, but honestly, not that big of a deal. I'll tell you what, y'all, I need a bigger driveway. <laughs> don't we all though, right? I think I am uh, maxed out. As a matter of fact, when all this settles and it's summertime, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that tree out of the ground and I'm gonna take my skid steer and level all of this out here and park this on the side of my garage. That way it's not sitting right here. And or we're gonna be paying a contractor to come out and rebuild my garage, pick it up higher, maybe not bigger. Do before you uh, look at it, what? you should use the remote start because the only remote start we have is, actually all these are remote start, but as far as diesels go, this is our only remote start truck. Here, catch. Good job. Yeah, I don't want to drop it in this. We need a Boost Auto Parts key fob. We need one of those retrofit key fobs. I know. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and start it up. Everything's all worn off. Look, we uh, put another key tag on one. Had to go with the Chevy. All the other ones are taken. If you guys are interested in one of these, um, I left a link in the description. Just click on it. I have like eight different types of key tags. They're really cool. And as a matter of fact, I've never lost my keys. Like, straight up lost my keys since I've had key tags. It's yes. true. I misplaced, but I've never yeah, lost. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, where are my keys? And all I have to do is look for the key tag. Yeah, go ahead and start it up. Yeah, this is a game changer. We have to get rid of that tip. <laughs> wow. It sounds really good, doesn't it? It brings back some memories. LMMs definitely sound different. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, if you want to go ahead and turn it off or... Can you turn it off with the key? Yeah, you can do that. Just hold the button down. Oh. Oh, we're so spoiled now. <laughs> this is awesome. This is going to be great for pulling the camper. Did you show some of this? Yeah, we already talked about it in the last video. This is my first time seeing it, like, in person, so... Yeah, we're going to need some work on that is back this, uh, panel. Is this stuff from something? Oh, oh that rubs right off. She's a little dirty, you know, we haven't cleaned it yet since the trip. Oh yeah. So. Oh, I got a mock it. Oh. Yeah, that was good. Oh. Can't put it down. Well, we gotta move that stuff That's out the of the stuff. way. It's the air dog lift pump. Oh, you got windshield wipers too? Yeah, Dylan's a good. Are they bad? Dylan's a good friend. That's nice. These back seats are mint though, aren't wow, they? Wow, yeah. They're super nice. Oh, I don't want to get it muddy or grounds all it's muddy. It's alright, I'm going to clean it up anyways. Yeah, it's a really nice... Oh, really look nice. at that! It's got a cup holder. Yeah, my, my truck... Sit in here. My truck's got the, the red truck. The other one has, has Oh, I that. guess I never sit in the back seat to know, huh? Look at, check it out. It's got a little radio back here. You can change the stations and stuff. Yeah, kind of like our Tahoe? It's not loaded, but, you know, it, it's got this, the leather. This is loaded for us compared to our older... Well, this isn't even older, is it? It's just a newer... Oh, 7.5. Hey, it's been, what, 11 years now? 10 years or so? Since we got rid of... Since we bought the last LMM? That's about right. That truck when Maya was a baby, so around 11 years. Yeah. And then we got rid of it shortly after. And then we downgraded to the LBZ. And then, uh, I don't hate to say downgraded, because I think LBZs are one of the best, but we upgraded to the LMM. Mm -hmm. We have a six-foot box crew cab, which is extremely desirable. And uh, here's the uh, here's the front seats. Not too bad for over 200k. Not ripped and torn and 
But of course we have the base model uh, radio, but we'll switch all that out. Guys, you know my style. This thing's going to be so nice when we're yeah, done we gotta with it. Yeah, we got to switch out this too. Oh. <laughs> I know. That door's a little janky. The little panels. But, um, oh, by the way, if you guys have a jump seat and you're local, you're here in Michigan and you're willing to drive, I'll swap. We'll do a console swap. We'll do, I'll give you the center console and all the pieces that you need. Take your jump seat. And the reason for that is because we have a giant family and it'd be nice to be able to fit everybody in here when we pull this camper up north and stuff to go camping. But I got to say, this thing pulls better than the LBZ. That's crazy. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Yeah, it needs some cleaning up, but other than that, I mean... A nice it, truck. If it drives good, pulls good, it's reliable, that's all I care about. Well, it made it know? here, right? Yeah, that's... It, it made it here with about a 12,000 pound load. Yeah, good thing you had something else that could recover you, huh? I know. I'll tell you what, though, this thing didn't even bat an eye. I'm glad that that fuel line blew. I am so glad that happened. I was able to put this thing to the ultimate test. Yeah. Well, she got the job done. <laughs> Now you gotta think of a name. It may not be a head gasket. You don't think so? It may not be. I, I Let me change some parts. Let me do some Diag. And if that's the case, then uh, I'm still gonna tear it apart and do head studs. But that would be a blessing if it wasn't. Yeah, but I'm still gonna tear it apart and do cool stuff to it. I know, but if it was a quick fix mm -hmm. for now, you know. Yeah, because that, that way I can get more to the common stuff so we can finish building that truck. And the wife, Max. I gotta say, though, Dylan is Dylan and Mason are such good guys. Those guys are so cool. You know who your real friends are when you're 45 minutes away, you're stranded, and these guys, I called them and they were like, hey man, we'll come over with a jack, we'll put stock wheels on your truck, and this and that. And Oh, they were ready to recover you? They were so nice. Oh, well, that's nice. Those guys are too cool. It's dirty, I know. Yeah. Look, no HSP stuff. That's what well, I'm used to when I... Yeah, you're, I you're used to all the... <laughs> All the glittery stuff. This is a uh, this is a diesel. <laughs> I'm sure we're gonna have some of those in here though pretty soon, huh? One thing I've noticed though, guys. Well, first of all, it's blocked off. It's got a I think it's got a blocker plate. Hard to tell, guys, but they welded the um, up inlet that connects to the EGR cooler. They just welded it up, but I guess it's leaking, which it's just a little hiss. I have LV7 up pipes anyway, so I don't care. But uh, the all this oil right here. This is your crankcase ventilation tube right here right there and you see all that oil right there and it's building up right on that boot mm. as well that's so common for duramaxes when you guys see oiliness going on right there it's because they decided to reroute the oil vapors back into your turbocharger and of course going through your intercooler and, and as you can see right there that boot which is all oily that's what you're seeing because all that oil is just consistently circulating in your intercooler so that's why it's so important to do a pcv reroute which will keep your intercooler cleaner, keep your turbo cleaner, and not only that, it's not gonna be all built up with oil. Huh. Thank you, EPA. <laughs> yeah. Get some new tires on it. That thing's gonna be almost like your old truck. Oh, a lift kit. Oh yeah, but no lift kit though. Yeah, no, I agree. Your old truck had some more chrome on it though, like you have the chrome side panels. Would you rather have this truck or the Wife Max? Uh, for... Oh, for long trips, this one. That yeah. one's loud. To I wouldn't want to take that on a long, on a long trip. To have fun, that definitely the wife max. Yeah. That thing can get rowdy. To have fun, just you know, here and there, and you know, one area. This one for long trips for sure, because it'd be nice and quiet and smooth ride. And yeah. Well, guys, um, we have a lot to we have a lot to do here. I, as a matter of fact, I'm thinking about. I don't want to get too overly crazy with the wheels, but. The highest that I'm going to go is 33s, but I don't honestly think I'm even going to lift this thing. So. What's that? It's like stick on? Yeah, that's, you know, the Chevy Dodge Ford, they all do it on the grills. Hey, are you serious? It's a plastic sort of like wrapping. That looks hideous. It does. It's no big deal though. I can, I'm going to get all this stuff redone. I don't even want to go into all my plans with this truck, but it's going to be sweet. It's going to be so sweet when I'm done with it. Yeah, it's, it's awesome to have a... Nice, reliable truck like this. I'm excited. I'm really thinking about doing the Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors because they're just, they're just so much better. These are all dingy and nasty. Yeah, the chrome is... The chrome looks really good, though, with the truck. Well, it's getting dingy, though, the chrome is. You'd have to get new... New caps? Yeah. The windows yeah. look like they're factory tinted. The back windows look pretty dark. Flint Truck Assembly, Flint, Michigan. Yep, all of our trucks are built in Flint. Really cool is we're only about 
30, 35 minutes from that factory. We should uh, detail this thing up. It'll look really nice. Yeah. But overall, it's rust free, and that's half the battle. You'll have to get. Um... Oh, yeah, guys. Oh, by the way, I'm going to do a sp spray in Raptor line, bed line job right inside the bed. Are you going to do this too? Oh, yeah. I'm going to tape all this off. Are you going to do it black? Mm hmm. Yep. We're just going to go black. Yeah, because you'll have to cover this as some bare metal right there. Retire old red? No from way. From <laughs> No, I, I I much rather I'm again I'm glad that happened on the highway, because it gave me a chance to test this thing out. But as far as I'm concerned, I would have much rather have used this to haul old red versus that one pulling this. For some reason, this thing moves better when it pulls. I don't understand it myself. Maybe it's because I got the big stupid wheels and the crazy offset and the lift kit and the, all this extra stuff going on. Um, keeping it stock and you know toe pig fashion I think is the best bet but then again this has got to go guys all this stuff the intake um, just the stuff the high flow stuff is gonna keep it going good that's my thinking Can I go white the white would yeah. be cool yeah oh I could do what we did with the victory max where he was like white yes, let's do some white red and white and blue stuff yeah that would be cool that'd be sweet let me know in the comments Give us a full rundown on some things that you guys think we should do with the LMM. I need an idea for a name as well. Um, Old trusty. Your first reaction when I called you and told you that I was stranded. First I was like, oh no, what are you going to do? I was like, I'm going to have to drive out there, aren't I, with all the kids? And then I'm like, what are you going to do? And you were like, oh, I had to drive the, uh, it was a little sketchy having to drive my my tires over the uh, wheel wells. I was like, oh yeah, I didn't even think of that. That must have been... Did you say you had some truckers standing around watching you? Yeah, like, truckers what's were this watch guy doing? They were just watching me. They weren't even helping. It's all <laughs> they good. were standing there like, what's this guy doing? He's an idiot. Well, I was you talking know? to my camera, too, so they were probably all Oh, confused. man. But you didn't get that on film, driving over the wheel wells? You know, when you're so, like... You're so stressed Emotionally, out. like, yeah. dude, what am I going to do? I've been through this multiple times. I just got to get this done. These people are staring at me. I got to get out of here. I've been through worse situations, though, you know, yeah. like even in the military, you know, in Iraq or Afghanistan, when you have a truck breakdown, you guys got to get out of Dodge. You don't have a choice. I mean, that's the most extreme. But, you know, when stuff like that happens, I usually don't completely lose my mind. But I don't think about turning a camera on. Oh, I'd know. be stressed out. Hey, guys. So we got the wife's reaction. We have it home. Everything is good to go. The easy fuel line, no no issues whatsoever. It was just an easy little rubber return line. You know, it, 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 I don't want to get off the rabbit trail here, but I bought aftermarket return lines with metal fittings because, you know, the stock ones are plastic. And I thought that would be a great idea. But stuff like that, man, it, you know, I, I don't know. I don't think of going aftermarket on return lines is such a good idea anymore. That's kind of stupid. So, but luckily I didn't recommend those to you, by the way. You live and learn, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it's true. It's all a learning process. Very true. So I want you to stay tuned on updates on the LMM, Duramax, as well as the Cummins. We have a lot going on. And again, big shout out to Dylan, my buddy. Make sure you guys subscribe to his channel. It's Dirty Diamond Diesel, so you guys can see a different take on this video here. As well as Mason, his friend as well that was there with the Cummins. You guys are so cool. And it's really good to have just really good down-to-earth people, good friends, to, you know, to, to have on your side. So, But that's it. You have anything to add? No. All right. I'm just boring, as usual. No. <laughs> so we thank you for your time and your support for the wheel and tire giveaway. It's going to be ending really soon here, so make sure you guys check that out in the description below. We'll see you on the next video. Stay tuned. It's not as bad as the wife max. The wife max is like, it's like a cloud of smoke. Put it in. Uh, it's on five. Put it in. Put it in drive. Put, hold your foot on the brake and just kind of boost, boost, pedal it. <laughs> what are you doing? You made me do it. I could drive this thing as a daily. You look like a soccer mom in a sweet truck. I drive it. Well, we have to get another seat though to fit us all. <laughs>